So I have friends in Idaho and Utah, especially, and I've been seeing posts like, hey, did you hear those loud booms? People are hearing loud booms more. And you know how there's like, uh, Bill Gates is putting microchips in the chemtrails and stuff. I, <laughs> right, right. This isn't quite that, but I have a theory about these loud booms, Carly. Me too, and? And what's yours? Uh, mine is You go that- first. Is that it's late summer and folks are trying to hang on to it as long as they can. And they've got all these fireworks left over from the 4th of July. Around here, that could be. And they're just having a good old time. That could be. Now what's yours? Uh, So I guess in September near Tooele, Utah, September 19th, I want to say, there were some loud booms that were heard. Here's my theory. I think that maybe those are sonic booms. And there's some experimental Mm -hmm. aircraft... Remember some UFOs. I'm just saying, or UAEs. Uh-huh. I'm just saying that if you're leaving Area 51 in an experimental UAE going Mach 10 or whatever they can do, mm-hmm. uh, you know, flying over a little bit of Utah and a little bit of Idaho, yeah. could be just a rounding error for a sortie of that nature. Sure. I mean, remember the first person to spot a UFO after Roswell was an Idaho pilot flying by Mount Rainier. We covered that in a previous episode. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, that's my theory. I'm going to throw it out there right now, and time will tell if I'm right. Interesting. I dig it. Because it's such a mystery. And I saw some in on the Idaho pages lately going, hey, what was that boom? Did anybody hear that boom? Oh, I think I know what those booms are. Aliens. (laughs) Aliens. Okay. (laughs) 